Paul Krugman is gonna smack down neoconservative, pompous douchebag Bill Kristol. If we would have been here two months ago, we would have thought a shutdown was possible, but all of the leaders, Republican leaders in the House and Senate against it, yet it's happening. Well, you know, these people are elected individually. They're not elected to rubber stamp decisions by Speaker Boehner or by Leader McConnell. So they've decided they would like to delay the implementation of a bad law that is, in fact, the president himself has had to delay parts of it. If we were sitting here 11 months ago, though, and the Republicans were in total disarray, Romney had lost, very de demoralized party. I think it's impressive what the Republicans have done, and the Republican House deserves credit for it, and the backbenchers in the Republican House deserve credit for it. The parties rally, the party's doing fine in the polls, the congressional ballot is about even, President Obama has not succeeded, except for that tax hike on the wealthy they had to give in, give him right at the beginning. He's not succeeded in getting his legislation passed, which is a good thing. So I think... I, is I, the shutdown going to backfire? Not, not necessarily. If it's a day or two or three, they've been shut down throughout the last 25 years. And as you know, they don't always backfire. It's a little delicate. But look, it's, why, do, why not delay at least parts of Obamacare for a year? <laughs> because it's the, it's the signature achievement. You know, and, and, uh, it's funny. Is that a good reason, a political reason like that? Um, and it's a good thing. It happens, in fact, to be a very good law. Because one of the things I think that's going on here is just a failure on the part of the Republican caucus to actually understand anything about this thing. Uh, that they, you know, not, they, they haven't done the policy, they haven't understood. In fact, almost all of the substantive news about Obamacare over the last couple of months has been good. The premiums are coming in well below expectations. Um, Health care costs are moderating. Well, probably there will be some technical glitches with the computer systems, but those are not fundamental. So actually, people who support this law are looking forward. They're actually almost cheering at the preliminary results. So the odds are that this is going to do a lot of good for a lot of people. Why not put it into effect now? Should the president have delayed the employer mandate? The employer mandate Wait, was a funny... Wait, yes or no? Um, yeah, actually, because... Right, it, and it so, but not the individual mandate. They are completely Big different. business gets the, gets the delay, no, but the individuals... But that, individuals this is why I'm talking about this policy ignorance, not understanding... Not policy. Is there the something mandate, called... That the employer mandate is basically a trivial add-on to the law, while the individual yeah. mandate is central yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, you don't understand that. You don't understand Intellectual and political... Look, that exchange infuriated me when I saw it uh, for a couple reasons. First of all, what Krugman is saying is inarguably correct, and I'll explain why in a second, right? But also just Bill Kristol's smugness and how pompous he is. Like, it, he's always got this, like, condescending smile on his face. It's not like a regular smile of a normal human being who's just happy. It's like a condescending, like, I know everything and you know nothing. <laughs> Except there's only one problem. Bill Kristol knows absolutely nothing. Like, he thinks he's some sort of massive intellectual. Meanwhile, he's a neoconservative. He's part of the neoconservative movement that held the White House down from 2000 until 2008. And they were an epic failure for the country. They were a demonstrable failure for the country. Nobody likes you, Bill Kristol. Even conservatives, uh, the overwhelming majority of conservatives hate the neoconservatives. Hate George Bush, hate Dick Cheney, hate you, Bill Kristol, hate Paul Wolfowitz, hate Donald Rumsfeld, because you guys are idiots and you're fools. And your idea was, hey, we should uh, invade every country and just basically be imperialists, and that's how the world is supposed to be. Right, what a, what a you know, a, a genuine idea. It's not like every other empire in history had the exact same idea, right? Like, that's exactly what the, the people in the Roman Empire thought, the Greek Empire, the Turkish Empire, the Chinese dynasties. They all thought, like, oh, no, no, we're special and we got this nailed. That's who Bill Crystal is. America's special! We're going to control everything. But, of course, uh, he also wants to deny you health care while wanting to be, rule the world and be an imperialist. So, uh, in terms of the uh, individual mandate versus the business mandate, the reason why Krugman calls it policy ignorance, and he's 100% correct, the business mandate applies to... 1% of businesses is the low number. The high number is 3%. I read two different numbers from two different articles. One says 3%, one says 1%. So what that's about is uh, businesses who have over 50 employees, they are mandated to give their employees health care. Now, uh, the main caveat to that is that the overwhelming majority of businesses that have over 50 employees do give their people health care already. So it's a tiny, tiny number, and they delayed it because they wanted to iron out all the details and work out all the logistical issues. Now, I might not have delayed it, but nonetheless, they delayed it, and they were being kind to the business community, and that's fine, that's their decision, but it's got nothing to do with the individual mandate. That's completely different. They're not connected at all. But Bill Crystal tries to do this ridiculous false equivalency. Like, oh, so you're protecting big business, but you're not protecting the average American. Right, because a neoconservative Bill Crystal, he cares so deeply about the average American. Don't make me laugh. Nobody cares less about the average American than Bill Crystal does. Uh, and then, 
the other point, which I made me want to bang my head against the wall, he, Bill Crystal called the Republican strategy on this impressive. <laughs> Uh, he goes, oh, no, no, it's good. And they're not suffering in the polls at all, the Republicans. No, the, the American people love this. You want to know what percentage of the American people agree with this strategy for, of trying to defund Obamacare and then shutting down the government if you don't get your way? 7%. 7%. Oh, yeah, no, it's a totally popular idea. You know what uh, Congress's approval rating is? And remember, the House of Representatives is majority... Republican. Even though the Democrats won the election by 1.8 million votes, the Republicans gerrymandered so they control the House of Representatives. You want to know what their appro approval rating is? 8%. No, 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 they haven't taken a hit in the polls. They're wildly popular. 